Hello there and welcome to Linux S2O and and this video guide is about Microsoft OneDrive. So if you are someone who use both the operating system, the Linux and the Windows operating system as well, and uh, you sync your data, your files on the OneDrive, and you find it hard when you switch to Linux or when you use Linux, you find it hard to access those files because you only have the web option. So is there any way to use OneDrive on Linux? Luckily, there is because Linux community is so forgiving. So there is in this application called OneDriver. So uh, this is a natively built for Linux application and it can allow you to access your OneDrive through the network. So it's not your typical sync client. For example, we have the Mega and Mega is a synchronizing client. That means it synchronizes all the files that you have locally to the server and uh, those files are on the server as well as in your local hard drive but this is kind of different because you mount to the drive and you access through the network you do not actually synchronize all the files only the files gets downloaded when you access them that's it that means it saves your space i mean there are a lot of features of this way accessing your drive but i'll go into them later in the video first let's set this application in our Linux distribution and then we will see the features so the installation process is quite straightforward the developer has done pretty tremendous work here because in linux it's kind of messy because there are different distributions and you have to build for different distributions and you have to manage them and managing different build is a kind of tedious work but he has done the job let's see the installation so installation is pretty straightforward for example if you are using red hat based distributions like fedora centos red hat self or the newer version rocky linux then you can enable this repo here the copper repo and then you can install the even driver application for ubuntu debian or any of their derivatives you can easily add this repository and install the application and for arch based distributions like Arch, Manzaro, and Dover OS, you can use all so the package is av available. Just install this package. So, the installation process seems pretty easy. So, let's install it in Ubuntu because I'm using Ubuntu and I use Ubuntu primarily. Where I'm making mistake. So just hit enter and uh, it will automatically update the repos for some reason if it did not then simply update by yourself just execute the apt update command so after updating the repo set just install the application just type sudo apt and then one driver hit enter forgotten one driver it says unable to locate the package let me check the package name again it's one driver oh there must be some issue with the repository yes the repository has it do not have a release for this particular version of ubuntu so this is the latest one the 21.04 and uh, the developer has not built a dev file for uh, this one yet so let me just download the file from the repository directly just go to here and uh, click on this view package details after that click on the package itself it should show the details and then download the build file for your system so this is amd64 just click on it and it should give me the file click on it and it will start to download but uh, it should have some issues of course because the build file for the particular version that i'm using is not available so let me just try to install it and see what is the issue so sudo debian package hyphen i downloads and one driver hit enter and guess what there is no error so just search for the application and it should be there so you have to get the dev file manually and then install it into the system 
okay so here's the application it has the same icon so they are trolling it just click on this plus icon this plus is not showing here because i have some issue with the icon pack in my system but it should work just fine so they are saying select a mount point mount point let me create a folder one drive one driver someone is calling me who is this okay i'm getting a call but i'm not going to pick it i'll pick it later let me select the folder and now it is asking me to log in so let me quickly log in 25 dollars okay so it's done it has done and i've got this message also because one app has connected to it and as you can see you can also have multiple accounts here so you can connect multiple drives you can toggle it mark it and delete it that's pretty much with the gui application and here is the mount point so this is the mount point and as you can see these are the files they looks like they are in my local drive but they are not they are on the server but the developer has done a lot of hard work to make that possible so this file is not in my system but it seems like it's in my system if i double click on it it will load automatically and it's here how things are here for example this is a video now this is not in my system right now but it will synchronize itself and i'm able to watch the video here i'm not seeing any data uses maybe it's downloaded or synchronized i don't know but here the files it looks like typical client for storage access you can use just like a mega that we use on linux and it's bi-directional that means it works both way it will synchronize to different devices if you have signed the same account to different devices so now let's talk about the features it offers the features are not many but they are enough so what are the features what are the features let's go back again few clicks more so this is the repository on github and the developer says that he has put a lot of time so he has worked hard to make the application fast convenient and easy to use and now i can say it's pretty easy to use because there are not much here it does the job so you cannot complain about it and uh, the computer makes request only when there is a need it will not make request otherwise and uh, the features are these for example it supports the file downloads only when you use them otherwise it will not get downloaded into the system that's what it says it's by direction as i said it will synchronize it's not a syncing application but it synchronize the files anyway and uh, you can even access the files offline so if i disconnect the internet i will be able to use the files and uh, you can also see that it's fast it is fast it has an interface interface i mean it's simply mounted into your file manager so that's the interface or the application that comes with the best part about this application is that it's free and open source so you do not have to pay for anything so yeah these are the features i hope you like this application because it works flawlessly yeah that way you can install the application it just there is an extra step for ubuntu or debian based distributions i hope you find this video helpful if it is helpful then hit the like and let me know about it in the comment section below it really helps the channel and it gives me that gratification that i need that dopamine in my head so do that and subscribe to the channel if you haven't and i shall catch you in the next one till then take care and keep enjoying linux